Hi guys, so now we are in the middle of our PCB journey. We are going to speak about the electrolytic copper. And here there is two processes, panel and pattern process. Okay, but what is the difference between those two steps? Well, in fact, it's a problem of copper repartition, and we will see that. The panel plating process is not standard, and usually this process is performed only on the customer's request and for specific PCBs. The panel plating follows the chemical copper process. This time, the difference is in the way the copper is deposited. The copper will be electrolytically deposited over the entire surface, as well as inside the holes, to improve flatness and distribution. Electrolytic copper creates electrolysis, which is a flow of electric current through a liquid that causes chemical changes. After several baths of three minutes each, electrolysis is created. The copper in the bath acts like an anode and the boards like a cathode. Copper is now thicker and more reliable with around 10 to 13 micrometers of copper. The next step for these boards will be the outer layer imaging. The crucial step after the outer layer imaging process is pattern plating. Here, copper is deposited electrolytically, but in much greater quantities. Indeed, to create a good connection and good conductivity between the holes, the boards need at least 20 to 25 micrometers of copper inside the wall holes, according to IPC standards. The copper, once again acting as an anode, is deposited on the boards during a 60-minute bath. After a rinsing bath, the boards are immersed in the electrolytic tin, which covers all the copper with a coat around 1 to 3 micrometers. This gray tin is essential to protect the copper during the etching process. Once they are completely covered, they are tested with a non-destructive method. So, now the copper is covered with a tea, so colorful. You have the gray, the blue, the copper, even the yellow with the epoxy. This is the charm of the PCB. So now we are going to the etching. Stay tuned.